Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can set up inventory part items within the item list to create items for which you want to track the quantity and value in QuickBooks. You cannot show inventory value for a manufacturing company or where the inventory value is changed as it goes through a process as it is simply too complex for QuickBooks to compute. However, if you have items you purchase from a vendor, hold as inventory, and then resell to customers, you can enter those items as inventory parts for ease of tracking in QuickBooks. To create a new inventory part within QuickBooks, click the Item button in the lower left corner of the Item List window, and then select the New command from the pop-up menu to open the New Item window. Select Inventory Part from the Type drop-down at the top of the window. Enter the part name or number for the inventory item into the Item Name slash Number field. If the item you are creating is a sub-item of another larger item category, then check the Sub-Item of checkbox and then select the main item for which this item will be a sub-item from the adjacent drop-down menu. When creating sub-items, the sub-item must be of the same item type as its parent item, and you must create the main item first before creating the sub-items. Next, enter the manufacturer's part number, if used, into the manufacturer's part number field. In the Purchase Information section, enter the description you want to have appear within Purchase Forms into the Description on Purchase Transactions field. You can enter the default purchase cost of the item into the cost field. The amount, if entered, will appear by default within your purchase forms when you select this item, but you can always change it at a later time if needed. Select the cost of goods sold account that is used to track the cost of purchasing this item from the cost of goods sold account drop-down. If you have a preferred vendor for this item, select the name of that vendor from the Preferred Vendor drop-down field. If this item is the first item selected within a purchase form, the Preferred Vendor's information will automatically be filled in within the form. Next, in the Sales Information section, enter the description of the item as you want it to appear within sales forms into the description on sales transactions field. You can enter the default sales price into the sales price field. This amount, if entered, will be the default amount displayed within your sales forms when the item is selected. You can always change it at that time if needed. Then select the tax code for the item from the tax code drop-down. Then enter the account used to track the amount of income generated by the sale of this item from the Income Account drop-down menu. In the Inventory Information section, select the Asset Account used to track the value of inventory within the Company file from the Asset Account drop-down. Then enter the quantity at which you want to reorder this item by typing it into the Reorder Point field. Now if you are creating an inventory item for inventory you possessed as of the start date of your company file, enter the total quantity on hand as of the start date into the on hand field. Then enter the total value of the quantity on hand as of the start date into the total value field. Then simply select the start date of the company file from the as of field. After you have created the inventory part item, click the OK button to save the item. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.